so I thought I would record the video that I intended to record a long time ago. But I'm recording it now because it is October. And this is a... It's not really a costume. Because no one else would do it but me. Because <laughs> I looked for it. Just to see. Has somebody else done this? And unless I'm just not searching right, I don't think anyone really did. At least not on YouTube. It's, it's just not visible. Um, it is the shadow monster from the shadow from Deadly Premonition. Now, if you're clicking off the video right now, then bye. Well, bye. Bye. Um, if you're still here and you're saying why. It's because I actually really like Deadly Premonition. Um, as a matter of fact, when it was announced that uh, Deadly Premonition 2 was coming out, um, a number of people, a couple of people that I know, <laughs> knew I liked it so much that they uh, decided to message me right away. Of course, I already knew at that point. I was like, oh, no. I know. I'm just one of those people who's also like, I don't know if you should do another one. Because the first one was just like, weird enough to be charming to me. And I feel like the second one, I hope it's not forced. It's not like forced weirdness. And forced references to Twin Peaks. because Twin? To Twin Peaks. Because that's pretty much what the first one was. It was references to Twin Peaks. Um... Supposedly it wasn't, but it was. If you saw the game, if you saw Twin Peaks, if you saw them close to each other, you were thinking to yourself, this is a Twin Peaks game. <laughs> That's what it is. Um, and also, uh, the reason for that, if you don't know and you know Deadly Premonition, I'm a little disappointed because... <laughs> A little bit. That is in the first scene after the intro. Uh, after the Tree of Anna, you know, York is driving and smoking and on his phone and on his laptop and pulling out bags of red seeds, chatting with somebody on the phone. I already said the phone, I think. I don't know. Chatting with somebody about a couple who's just very codependent and he wants it. If he didn't, he would have stopped at things like whatever he's saying. And then he... Tom and Jerry. Like, are you not... Did you not watch the game? If you're here and you've just seen that and you said, I kept watching you because I have you in the background or because, you know, I know you. You know, I'm sure somebody out there is just like, I'm just watching you to help you out, Miranda. And I'm like, you don't need to do that, I promise. <laughs> I don't care if nope. I don't care if nobody watches this, um, because I just want to have fun doing this. Because it's something I've wanted to do. And if somebody does watch it, that's honestly like if they watch it because they want to, as opposed to I know you, I'm related to you. That's a bonus. So please, you don't have to watch it just to make me feel better. It's fine. I really don't have a lot to make this look, but we're gonna do it because. It's not that hard. The shadow person, the shadow people is, shadow people, they're not shadow people, they're shadow monsters. They, um, the way they walk is especially fun. If, if you don't know that, then you really don't know the game. <laughs> they, they walk backwards, like, <laughs> they walk backwards, which, as, um, uh, I don't want to drop any gamers' names, I mean, obviously I want to give them credit, but they also, the super best friend. <laughs> Let me tell you, when they broke up, I was actually really sad. My husband saw me cry in the car, and he was just like, "Really?" I'm like, "Dude, it's like, a sh it's like you when you're watching your shows, and one of your shows that you like is ending. That's what it felt like. All right, get over it." I was sad, but I watch, I still watch their Deadly Premonition playthrough because I like that game because it's so strange, and because I like the progression of what the hell is this game to like you. They like it too because it's just a likable game. <laughs> well, not to everybody. I understand there are tons of people who are just like, 
no, this is garbage. Like, why would you even like that game? Um, I believe one of the best friends was one of them who said that, uh, at least per their statements. I don't know if that was true or them just playing it up to be silly. Um, I don't know anyone else's mind. I only know what I know. I know what I know with you. Know what I mean. This might actually look a little bit gray if I put it on. Or purpley. See, they're very grungy looking. Black, a lot, like a lot of black around the eyes. That's so easy. A little bit of black around the nose. I'm looking at the picture now from the game, and it looks a little less black around the nose than the other ones do, but it looks like somebody who had... Uh, a bloody nose, did this, didn't wipe it very well, and let it dry really badly. <laughs> That's what the picture looks like. And then um, there's like streaks, like somebody cried, and Glasgow grin, and all that fun stuff. So it's really not that hard. <laughs> um, but I also, I'm not a makeup artist by any stretch of the imagination. I'm literally a person who has some makeup. I'm going to play with it. And I don't have high-end makeup either. I, um... I have drugstore makeup because that's what I buy. Um, I have stuff that I looked up and saw that the reviews were alright. And tried it and I did like it. So I continued using it. I say that because sometimes reviews, you know, everybody's skin is different. You, you try what you try. Like what you like. Um, I don't have like a, a whitish or grayish foundation slash concealer. I don't have any of that, but I do have slightly palish colors. And I know that there have been times when I was doing my makeup and a little bit of eyeshadow got in something and I did this and it kind of got gray. That's what I want, so I can do that. I have black. I have this little Wet n Wild black. Um, Panther. Tiny little thing. I don't even, I honestly don't. You know how old this is? It doesn't even have the little thing on it. Maybe it was on the actual packaging because sometimes that's what they do. So, that, I probably bought that a year ago. I don't even know if a year is too long for that. I also have my... See, I go for the cheaper stuff, guys, when I know I'm not going to use it that much because that's me. Wet and Wild Blackout Lipstick. Uh, lipstick? I don't want to call it just lipstick if it's I'm not cool like that. It really doesn't say anything else but Wet n Wild. This is from, <laughs> where is this from? I don't know. What does that look like? New York. Where I am specifically, I should say, because I know there's like Dwayne Reed's in the city, but there's more like Walgreens, CVS, and uh, Rite Aid's around here. Um, and it really depends from certain areas. Like you go to certain counties and it's like, no, we have more CVS. No, we have more Rite Aid. And, Walgreens are everywhere. <laughs> but yeah, I do drugstore shopping. Um, and I am I only have some concealer here and trying to cover this thing that won't go away. Um, that's a hormonal one. That was for ovulation because it's just what happens to me. Um, my face goes nuts. I have some eye stuff on, as you can see. The brows are done. Lashes. A little bit. The lashes are kind of, not really. They, they are, but they aren't. And they don't matter because this look you can probably do over most looks. It is the easiest. So now that I've done enough talking and separating out some of my stuff, let's try putting some stuff on and see what happens. So I am not going to do any of this very professionally. I'm just going to go for it. This is from Maybelline Fit Me. It's one of the lighter colors I have. It is ivory. It is not light enough for this, but it is lighter than my skin tone. So we're just going to... Put, I'm putting it in the right place. You know what I forgot to do, too? This is how professional I am. Please don't look at my, uh, my extra boobs. These things. I hate them. Those are where boobs get people to monetize. Guess what? I'm not monetized, so it's okay. I'm just the person doing the... Uh, 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 um. I usually do stuff like this before I'm about to take like a shower or something because... Because it's the easiest thing to do before you're going to take a shower. I mean, unless you're going somewhere for this. You know? So 
and that this is my little kabuki brush just like me i like the fact that when you do this it's like just a little bit more dense because it's gotten compact and this way it does that um i don't know if the brand is great or not i know some people will say oh, that brand is controversial i i hear all these things online because i watch all this stuff but i'm not so involved in it so sometimes like they're not going to say anything about their this is what is this b4 on the on the go total face i don't even know if that's a brand that anybody knows besides this area or if it's a huge brand like i don't know that stuff and i don't want to offend the brand but i just don't know i'm a little ignorant so um you know what i'm better off looking in my mirror am i i don't know it's kind of it's doing what i like it's doing and oh, why am i like trying to blend it like to make it look good hello okay yeah thank you gosh I'm trying to blend look at that see i told you pale you know what? I am um, I'm Middle Eastern, but uh, if you can't tell this in the video, I think you can kind of tell in the video. I am olive skin, but I am one of the paler olive skins. I am definitely not. I'm definitely not a tan person in the least. You see me in person at all? Not tan. Uh, people used to say all the time to me, Miranda, you need some color. And my comment to that was always the snarky, but off-white is a color. <laughs> I make bad jokes all the time. That's another thing. Uh, I pride myself on my terrible jokes. I don't understand why people uh, want to act like they're too cool for awful jokes. Like, why? Okay, so now I'm delving into that little wet and wild thing that I had. And I do have... Another brush. I have pathetic brushes. I don't even know what brand this is. <laughs> I don't even know. Oh, it is a Rite Aid brand. Rite Aid Renewal. And it is a fat brush that came in this thing. It's so kind of like that. Like that. I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> I was trying to avoid it. That didn't work. So we're just going just gonna to go for it because we'll see what happens. Oh my god, it's so gray. So grungy. So, not what it's supposed to look like. So, we're gonna grab a different brush because we need to really get in there. As a matter of fact, hmm. I have a liquid eyeliner, but I just got it and I don't know that it can handle this at all. It might be able to, but this is like not regular makeup, so. Maybelline New York Master Precise All Day Liquid Liner in Black. Ooh, it's so fancy. I love it. Okay, let me just. Oh, come on. Really? You want to do that? Okay. Really? If you ever want to see what your wrinkles would look like like this, it's hot. People keep telling me, oh, you don't look like you have any wrinkles. I'm like, they're there. They're just, uh, not prominent yet, but that's probably where they're going to be. Because that, that crease, yeah. All right, we're going to try to figure out. I think, I think what I actually need to do. Hmm. Yeah, let's see. I'm going to need to open it up. Yeah, like that. Just give that a shot. I have black lipstick, so I can work with that. Um, okay. Hmm. I think I need to lower this a little, uh, a little bit. Yeah, because they look like their chins are like so much are just diminished because of this big mouth that they have going. Uh, I 
Okay, we're trying to line the lips now. Apparently this thing is. Fuck. You know, maybe... I know there are people, some some people out there who uh, would prefer me making this look, like, pretty. But, uh... I'm not really going for that. I'm just going for... Fun. <laughs> Uh, I know somebody who would hate that I just said fun right now, but how are you going to hate fun? Like, like seriously, how are you going to hate fun? Like, why would you hate fun? I mean, take your responsibility seriously, like you should. Otherwise... Have fun. I'm 40 years old doesn't mean I have to be like an adult. By the way, doesn't necessarily mean go party and clubbing and things like that, because I don't do that. I sit home. I do this. This is fun. I don't know why I'm doing that with my mouth when I don't really need to. Oh, I guess my brain needs to. If you ever wanted to know what it would look like, a person would... See, you would think I don't have any artistic skills seeing what I'm doing right here, but... I can draw. A little bit. I haven't in a while, but I can. This is going to be not fun to get off. Could you imagine if I couldn't get it off and I have to go to my son's school tomorrow? <laughs> Honestly. Just the way I look sometimes. I, I don't even think they'd be that surprised. They'd probably be like, oh, it's time to go. Again. <laughs> Hi! I'm, I'm doing this, and I know that some people are like, no, don't do it. Um, But this eyeshadow, I'm... I don't want to use so much of it to make it do this, and I don't wear black lipstick. And the reason I don't wear black lipstick, as much as I love how it looks on people, it doesn't look good on me because it... I get that thing. There's a certain YouTuber, I don't want to drop the name again because I'm not trying to pull from anybody's audience. Like, if the search popped up from saying it, I don't know that that's a, a thing, but... If she ever saw this, and if anyone who likes her ever saw this, they know what I'm talking about. This doesn't look right after a while because of what happens there. It just doesn't look good. On me specifically, I, I see it. And I've got a terrible bottom row of teeth, so I'm not really trying to call attention to that. <laughs> like, hi everybody, you see this overcrowding in my mouth? Mmm. Isn't that great? It's so great. I know. I'm so sexy. What can I tell you? Okay, just keep making sure that my phone has not frozen on me and cut out. Because I actually tried filming something in my car a while back. Where I was just... I think I was singing along with something. It was a while back. And I realized, after I had done it, because I had liked, you know, you can be proud of yourself, even if you even if you don't really think you sound that good, you can be proud of yourself. I was proud of the way I sounded. And I looked at the screen, and my face had been like, and I was still going. And it had done that a while ago, so... See, this is turning out better than I expected. I don't like the fact that I don't know what to do around the nose area because sometimes it looks like that. I think I do. I can do this. I just have to concentrate it. I have to concentrate it. Because this isn't so bad. I still have to, I know. I'm, I'm very spotty. I'm not done. I promise. I'm not done. I just have to get this. I've only 
of the things I said, by the way, I haven't used any new. Um, I've only used the Maybelline Fit Me uh, Concealer. I've only used the Wet n Wild Panther um, eyeshadow, and I've only used the Wet n Wild um, Black. What is it? Blackout uh, lipstick from Wet n Wild. So. I grab for something in between that I really am just not remembering, I, I apologize. I, that would be mommy brain. And if anyone says, oh, it's not a thing, you either have never been a mommy or you are lucky. Because, yes, it is. <laughs> My hormones have gone nuts. Uh, and it's not fun because it's not. Uh, because I will legitimately, like, everybody does this, and I've, I've been doing this for a long time. Like, anyone will say, oh my god, I'm losing my mind, like, I, I walked in the room and I forgot why. And, no, I've been saying that since I was 20, a lot of people, a lot of people do that, but when it's happening more, and it just happens differently now, like, in ways that really are, here I am talking middle-aged again. Every time I say the word middle-aged, I'm like, I can't believe I just said that, but it's accurate. I'm 40. <laughs> Yeah, so, so well, any of you, you, you younger YouTubers, and none of you are watching, but if somebody ever sees this and they just find your YouTuber and you're like in your 20s or something, or even in your teens, you just like, oh, she's old. Yeah, it's a great. <laughs> interesting when you're on this side it really is oh there's these cool spots on her face i just realized too like i mean i don't remember ever seeing that before <laughs> okay she also i can't see myself with my eyes closed so i really don't know what that looks like i'm hoping i caught everything but i don't really know okay i can kind of do this all right uh okay this one's a little harder Everybody's got a weaker eye. Unless you're just talented with doing this. Everybody's got a talent. Everybody. I could, I could go more, but like I don't really need to because this is really just a silly thing that I'm doing. And it looks like a few different things, but this grungy version is literally meant to be that deadly premonition. I'm saying that like you're looking at it. I put the picture in. Let's uh, let's go with these creases in my face. <laughs> I honestly don't really look look like I have a lot of wrinkles at this point for being forty, until I smile. Then you start seeing. I never used to have bags. I'm sorry, I was looking there forever. I never used to have bags under my eyes until the last like couple of years. Someone would blame it on like you know having a kid. Maybe that's the case. But again, you get older. It's just what happens. Unless you've got really great genes. Mine are pretty good. Some are better, some are worse. Why do I keep looking in my face and my viewfinder? I'm still doing it right now just to freak you out. See, I'm not looking at you. See how I'm not looking at you? Mmm, creepy. Okay, now I'm looking at you. And I stopped immediately. Okay. I really don't know what else to do with this right here. Because now I'm trying to look kind of in the yuck and oh look let's cut this chat it's old she's been contouring all her head oh my goodness no she that's not what they look like they're I'm just being silly but as you can see like you can get away with a lot because I'm done I'm pretty done this is not a hard thing to, to accomplish as you saw we have some translucent oh let's lock it in place I don't really want to because I'm not not really going anywhere. I would, like, you know what? Maybe I'm not done. Maybe I should try to put a little bit. Hmm. Let's try. Let's try. I haven't even told you that I'm saying let's try to. Uh, let me see if I have something good to try to add. It's almost like around her nose and her mouth have, like, reddish, like, dry, the blood situation going on. I really didn't use as many things as I thought I was going to use. I thought I was going to use so many more of them. I, I don't even have that much, but I really thought I was going to use 
different thing than I ended up doing because it just was, it's just an easy, it's an easy thing to do. So let's see. This is Wet n Wild. I like Wet n Wild and Maybelline. They seem to be my go-tos. Um, I have a lot of Maybelline. I have a lot of Maybelline. I have a lot of Maybelline. <laughs> um, I have a lot of Maybelline. <laughs> and I have a lot of uh, Wet n Wild uh, liquid cat suit because I really like that one. Uh, the liquid cat suit. This one is Give Me Mocha. I feel like Mocha. When I put it on my lips, it looks like a dark red that almost looks brown. Like it looks deep, but I don't know what it's going to look like on my skin or. Maybe when it oxidizes or something. Yeah, that's, that's not really, not really helping the look. Eh, maybe on, maybe it looks like almost as, then again, like I said, I still have to do those dots. I said I was done and I'm not. So this is when, you know, I've never done this because I don't know what I'm talking about. I didn't practice this look, as you can tell. <laughs> I just figured, hey. Let's just uh, go for it. Let's see what happens. I don't know if I would have added this red, but it looks all right. I mean, it just adds to the grunge, I suppose. But it, it's not necessary, clearly. It, it really... You don't even need to do this look, obviously, because no one's going to know what you are. No one's going to know what you are but me. I'm going to be like, I know that. And then everyone's going to be like, what is it? Deathly Premonition. And then one person will be like, that game? And the other ones will say, I just don't know a lot of people who, like, who know that game. Um, uh, I don't know a lot of gamers. That's why. I know um, the gamers that I do know are friends. Like, really good friends. Uh, one of them is the one who introduced me to that game. And the other ones are like into different genres. Or... I haven't heard of it because, I don't know, it didn't get to them. The cult following stuff didn't get to them. They more mainstream. I don't know. For whatever reason, um, I find myself explaining it to people. Um, then again, maybe I'm just explaining it to people because I'm annoying. So I think I didn't need to use this. Toffee Talk from Wet n Wild. Let me see what it looks like. Because it's a... Uh, like a purpley gray, but when I put it on my lips, yeah, no, see, it's just, it's, that's all it's saying. No, it's, and it's not doing anything for this look either. It's just like, hey, hi, I'm purpley. Okay. So, those, spo those spots actually look like they could be this. Let's, since we've already ruined the look, um, when we started, let's try, <laughs> let's try doing this. I find myself always like weird little spots on here. Yeah, see now it's, now it's absolutely, now it's absolutely unrecognizable. Yes, look, look at me, I am a shadow monster. Oh, my family is probably very worried about me. Uh, or they've already given up hope. A long time ago. Either or it really, it's the same thing. You don't need to worry about anything. That's not a protest too much situation either. That's like a literally because somebody's actually watching, thinking, is she okay? I'm okay. <laughs> I am okay, I promise. Uh, because I've always been one of the, the much weirder people in my family. Um, okay, I don't have hair like her. She has very late 50s hair. I would put my head upside down, um, but I actually have three herniated discs, um, middle-aged life. Um, actually, no, I think, I think that happened a long time ago. It just exacerbated after I had my son, <laughs> um, or during, 
and you know your body releases hormones and does weird things i'm gonna go and i hope you enjoyed this non-look pretty proud of that i think i say that a lot because you know somebody's got to be proud of you i'm proud of me even when it's stupid oh i'm so proud look at me and my gray hairs and oh i need a trim and yeah i need a trim my phone stopped recording because i was long-winded what else is new so have a great night and um or i don't know when i'm actually gonna post this because i have to edit but i'm actually gonna edit Have a great day uh, to all my weirdos and non-weirdos. And stop lying about being non-weirdos, you weirdos.